Just got here too. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Dude, that's a nice one. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing, guys. I just got here. My rods and stuff are still all over the place. But look how big these crappies are. Holy smoke. Look how I ate that jig. That's insane. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful crappie. Holy smoke, man. Yes, we're keeping some today, guys, because I ran out already. Whoa, look at the back on that thing. Let's see how big it is. Dang, that's a nice one. Hey, yeah, guys. Beautiful fish. In the box it goes. Alright, guys. Welcome back. We're back out here at the pond looking for some big Crappies. I just got here and I already caught, let me fix this, and I already caught a decent one. So today we're going to focus on casting. The water temp did drop like 5 degrees. It's now 62 and I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're active. The downfall is that clear sky. You can see that it's super clear. It's, there's, there's no cover, right? There's nothing. So the fish are going to be deep. I'm fishing 20 feet right now, 22 actually. As of right now, I'm going to have to vertical for them to get them to come up from the depths. But hopefully when the sun starts creeping down, we can start casting some plastic for them. So stay tuned, stick around. I'll see you guys ready on the water. Finally got the GoPro running. And um, first things first, I want to talk about some of the comments. Not saying that I'm hurt from it, but I do want to respond to it by saying that if you guys been following me for a while, I'd never had this. I was just like you, right? down imaging maybe side imaging whatever and i was never able to fish like this until just recently so i've been having this just for what since may june i was just like you i fished down imaging or blind okay i, I fished blind for the longest i didn't have all this cool stuff and hold on i thought i had a bite just because you have this doesn't mean you're, you're gonna catch fish I can promise you that as much as I'm out here as much as you guys think I get to fish I see fish all the time and some days I don't catch jack just because you have this technology does it yes does it make your life easier yes of course it does help but it also doesn't mean you're going to guarantee fish and I can testify that and a lot of people can testify that uh, the sonar does not solve anything if you don't know how to fish it fish will always be a fish so they will behave however they want to behave they will respond however they want to respond and all i can say you know knowledge is everything knowing how to fish knowing where to go on the condition of the lake it's everything you know you might get lucky here and there but man i'm telling you just all this does not solve your problem i promise you guys that and a lot of people can testify that um it does help me and my dad a lot <laughs> when we come out and fish because we love pan fishing but yeah yeah that's that's all i have to say you know it's you take it as it is i mean it's either you're a fan of it or you're not i like it for pan fishing i don't know how oh i got one it's probably just a blue guys running circle yep yeah. um i don't know how it is like i haven't really used it for ouch i haven't really used it for walleye fishing but for pan fishing i love it bass fishing i haven't really focused on it i just for bass fishing i just like power fishing in general so i don't really scout for bass at all i just prefer uh what do you call it to power fish that's that's my two cents on it you know you take it as it is my goal is to teach you guys what i know when i see it what i do but you know people have different tastes and flavors so it's all good you know take it as it is so that's one thing i wanted to say Right now we're looking at 20 feet of water. I'm seeing freckles. I don't know what they are. They could just be bluegills and stuff. But I am seeing a little bit of freckles showing up on the screen. I don't see my lure because I'm using an ice jig and it, I'm moving around a lot because of the wind. I'm just jigging, you know, I'm keeping it up. It's 20 feet down. I'm keeping it maybe like at 16. And I'm just hoping they come up and, you know, grab the bait as it flutters around. So for condition, you can see it's windy, right? It's probably loud and audio. 
Uh, it's clear sky, which is not good, but the wind helps. The water is stained. I'm fishing pretty stained water, so I'm using a white Lavi 1.25 uh, for ballsy baits. I'm using a Cannonball Widowmaker. I will hope to uh, cast for them, but with the wind and everything, it's it's kind of tricky, you know. I got one. I got one. That's a crappie. That's a nice crappie. Yep. You guys see that? You guys see that? That's a nice one. Oh my gosh. That's a nice crappie. And because these hooks are so sharp, you can hook them right. Just like that, guys. Holy smoke. That's a good freaking fish. Good eater right here. Meta 12, I think. Regardless, it's a good eater. So I only want a few of these. I don't want freaking 25, you know. I just need like 10 or so, whatever. Yep, another. Oh, this one's actually good. This one's just a hair from 12, so it's, it's perfect to me. Nice. So windy, I'm getting blown all over the place. It's a big bluegill. Not a giant, but we'll take it. That's a dandy bluegill right there. Sheesh. Thick. See ya. Oh yeah, I got one. That's a rock bass. Oh yeah, it's a rock bass. Big old rock bass. Holy smoke. Good fish. Got one. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's a nice crappie. Yep. It's a nice crappie, guys. Oh no, it's a big rock bass. Never mind. It fell like a crappie, dude. Holy cow, it's huge. Man, that's crazy. I'm not complaining at all. It's fun. Dang, dude, look, how, look at the size of that thing. It's massive. We're fishing in, I could say 15 feet. Hopefully I can swing this guy right, get them to bite. So these fish are not behaving like I want them to. Oh, I got one. I got one. Yes. Oh, it's a crappie. Nice. <laughs> and she came up for it. Not a giant, but casting crappie. Nice, dude. Not a big, big one, but good size. See ya. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So you got to swing it correctly. You don't swing it correctly and they don't want anything to do with you. Wow, the water's so warm over here. 64. What the freak? Yeah, not yet. Got one. There we go. We got the swing bite going, guys. And the oh, dude, you wrapped me up. Yeah, more crappie. <laughs> That's so cool. So we're swinging this plastic right across the broken tree there, and they're just freaking hammering it. Nice. Another good one, bro. This is awesome. I'm swinging a bait. Like I'm just casting it over there and just letting it fall, and then just slowly retrieving it. They're hammering it. Yeah, it's so cool. Exactly what I wanted to do. Got another one. Oh, dude, this is awesome, man. Yep, another crappie. <laughs> Not a giant, but dude, this is fun. Heck yeah. There we go. So we keep catching them. Make sure it stays steady. Retrieve it nice and slow right on top of it. Got him. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh. 
Dude, that's a nice crappie. Oh my goodness. That's a good crappie. I'm just going to swing him in. Yeah, dude, that's a tank, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a good one. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, that's a nice one, bro. Wow, that's a tall plus right here. Dude, let's go. Look at that. Swinging baits for crappies. That's what I'm calling it. That is freaking awesome. Yeah. So we just measure it for the hell of it, right? Yep. Look at that. 12 and a half. Actually, 12 and a quarter. Sorry. Bam. Perfect. You right here. Dude, hell yeah, bro. Got a nice one. Got one. Got a nice one. Oh, oh, not a giant, but that'll do, donkey. You know, I'm gonna keep this one because it's getting dark. I'll try to get my meal in. Not a giant, but good eats.